All right. Take a moment. See yourself sitting here. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and out. In and out. And see yourself sitting in your house, watching the screen in front of you. We're going to reach down and grow roots down through the floor and into the ground. We're going to search out the waters far below us as we push the roots down through the basement and into the earth, push them down around the rocks and soil. As we keep on searching down around the boulders until we go down and finally reach the bedrock far beneath the earth. And as we move along the bedrock, we search and find this pool of water far, far below the earth, cool, crisp water, waters of chaos. And we bring these waters up through our roots with each breath as you inhale, bring the waters up into your feet and into your legs. Bring the waters up into your loins and into your belly. With each breath, the waters come further and further into your chest and into your head. With each breath, the water keeps on coming up and going out from your head and your hands and back into the earth. Water from far below going through your body, filling you with this cool energy from far below. Take a moment and enjoy this water. And turn your focus skyward and reach up into the sky, through the roof, up through the clouds, up until you find that star directly above your head. And reach up for that star and pull that light down, pull the fires from the heavens down, the light and fire of order. Pull this down into your branches and down into your hands. With each breath, bring this light down into your head and into your chest. Bring it down into your belly and into your loins. With each breath, feel it go down further into your feet. See this light from above, the fire from above, mingling with waters from below, filling you with this glowing energy of order and chaos of fire and water mixing throughout your body. Enjoy this energy. Take of this energy all that you need. Fill yourself up. But for now, we're going to disconnect. So keep what you need, then send the fires and light back up to the sky. Send the waters back down into the ground. And bring in your branches and bring in your roots. But no, if you ever need more energy, if you ever need more of this, you can always reach back up and reach back down. But for now, take a deep breath in and out. In and out. And when you're ready, rejoin us, ready for magic. All right, our first offerings to the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you who surround us and support us, you who provide us shelter, who provide us this lovely weather we have had in the past week, and the lovely weather those of us in the Northeast are about to have a little bit early this year. You provide us sustenance, the food, the plants, for all you do for us throughout the year, all you do for us every day, we all make you this offering. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Earth Mother, accept our offering. We are here to honor the gods. We're here to make offerings to the gods, the dead, and the mighty land spirits. And we're here to ask for all of their blessings in return. But first, we hallow our hallows. Mighty well, 
your waters reach deep into the earth and mingle in the worlds of the ancestors. We give you the silver and ask that you connect us to the underworlds in our works this evening. We say sacred waters flow within us. Sacred waters flow within us. Uh, and mighty fire, you burn and transform. You send all of our offerings up into the heavens, into the upper worlds, uh, the worlds of the gods. We offer you this incense. We ask that you act as our path to the upper worlds. We say, sacred fire, burn within us. Sacred fire, burn within us. And mighty tree, your roots run deep in the earth and touch the wells in the land of the ancestors. Your branches run high into the sky and touch the worlds of the gods far above. Give you this incense of water. We ask that you act as our pathway between all the worlds. Sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree, grow within us. By the might of the water, in the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water, in the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water, in the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. We shall. give to the gatekeepers. Mighty gatekeepers of old, you who we've called on through all these years, we call on you to join us once more. We call on you once more to aid us in our works. Watch over us as we walk your roads. Guide us as we work with the other worlds. Take our messages far and wide and bring back to us all that we need to hear. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. And gatekeepers, in my house and in all of our houses, I ask you to join your magic with mine. Let all of our wells be open as a gate to the underworld. Let all of our fires be open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let all of our trees be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our voices and open to the spirits. Let the gates be opened. Let the gates be opened. We now call them the Shining Ones. Shining Ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, you who look over each and every one of us, our patrons, our matrons, we offer you welcome gods and goddesses of, of this very place where each and every one of us are sitting, the local gods and goddesses, we offer you welcome. And gods and goddesses of elder days, those that are unknown to us, who may look over us, to each and every one of you, we offer you welcome. Come, join us at our fire, shining ones, Accept our offerings. Accept our offerings. Land spirits, you of fur and feather, scale and skin, all of our animal kin, we offer you welcome. You of leaf and twig, stem and flower, all of our plant kin, we offer you welcome. And to all the unseen, you go, whichever name you go by, may it be Fae, Older Folk, Elves, Dwarves, Dryads, Naiads, and all the multitudes of names that you go by. To all of you, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fire. Land Spirits, accept our offerings. Land Spirits, accept our offerings. And Ancestors, 
you who are a family, those of us that, those that have passed and are part of our lineage, we offer you welcome. To all of you that we look, of, look at as heroes and mentors, all of those who mean something to us, we offer you welcome. And to all of you in this very soil where we stay and live, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fire. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offerings. At this point, if you have offerings of your own to any of the kindred, please feel free to make them. Asking a calmer, more adult heads prevail. If there are no more offerings to be made, mighty kindred, we give to you God's dead and land spirits. We give to you all of this and ask for your blessings in return. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindreds, accept our sacrifice. And now, kindred, we ask, what blessings do we receive? Shining ones. What blessings do you give us? They give us radio, the chariot, physical movement, and travel. Land spirits, what blessings do we receive? They give us kanas, the torch, spark, and inspiration. And shining ones, Oh, not shining ones. And ancestors, what blessings do we receive? We receive Urus, the Aurochs, strength. I read this as be inspired. Follow your inspiration wherever it may go. They are watching your back. And you will succeed. I think these omens are good. Do we accept these omens? We do. All right. In these waters, in each and every one of our waters, I hate kindred, fill them. Fill them with the journeys of radio. Fill them with the inspiration of Kanas. Give them the strength and fortitude of Urus. Fill these waters with the omens we have just heard. Behold the waters of life. And behold, behold them. the waters of life. And behold them, in, not just in my hands, but in all of our hands. All right. So now we thank all of those who have aided us. Ancestors, be you family, be you people we idolize and, and, and call friends, or be you of this very place. Ancestors all, for all that you have done, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. 
land spirits, be you animal kin, be you plant kin, or be you any of the unseen kin. For all of you and for all that you do throughout our days and our lives, we, land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. And shining ones, be you our patrons and matrons, be you of the very earth that we stand on, or be you unknown to us, to all of you, for all that you do. Shining ones, we thank you. Shining ones, we thank you. <sighs> Gatekeepers all, you have aided us once more and you have taken our messages far and wide. You've brought back to us all that we need to hear. For all the work that you have done for us, for keeping us safe. Gatekeepers, we thank you. Gatekeepers, we thank you. We now ask that you join your magic with mine once more, and in my house, in all of our houses. Let the well become but water once more. Our fires become but flames once more. And our trees become but a tree once more. In my house and all of our houses, let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. Last but not least, Earth Mother, we honor you first and we thank you last. Without you, we would not be here. You are the reason why we survive. For all that you do for us throughout the year and all you do for us throughout the day. So Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace. For this right has ended.